Ocelot. The ocelot is a small wildcat native to the southwestern United States, Mexico, and Central and South America. This medium-sized cat is characterized by solid black spots and streaks on its coat, round ears, and white neck and undersides. It weighs between 8 and 15.5 kilograms and reaches 40 to 50 centimeters at the shoulders. It was first described by Carl Linnaeus in 1758. Two subspecies are recognized, L.P. Pardalis and L.P. Midis. Typically active during twilight and at night, the ocelot tends to be solitary and territorial. It is efficient at climbing, leaping and swimming. It preys on small terrestrial mammals, such as armadillo, opossum and lagomorphs. Both sexes become sexually mature at around two years of age, they can breed throughout the year, though the peak mating season varies geographically. After a gestation period of two to three months, the female gives birth to a litter of one to three kittens. They stay with their mother for up to two years, after which they leave to establish their own territories. The ocelot prefers areas with dense vegetation cover, high prey availability, and proximity to water sources. It is listed as least concern on the IUCN Red List, and is threatened by habitat destruction, hunting and traffic accidents. Populations are decreasing in many parts of its range. The association of the ocelot with humans dates back to the Aztec and Incan civilizations, it has occasionally been owned as a pet. The ocelot ranges from the southwestern United States to northern Argentina, up to an elevation of 3,000 meters. It inhabits tropical forests, thorn forests, mangrove swamps and savannas. A 2019 study in the Brazilian Amazon showed that it prefers habitats with good availability of prey and water, and tends to avoid other predators. It favors areas with dense forest cover and water sources, far from roads and human settlement, avoiding steep slopes and highly elevated areas due to lack of prey. In areas where ocelots coexist with larger predators such as the cougar and human beings, they may tune their active hours to avoid them, and seek dense cover to avoid competitors. It can adapt well to its surroundings, as such, factors other than the aforementioned are not significant in its choice of habitat. It shares a large part of its range with the jaguar, jaguarundi, margay, wansilla and cougar. Characteristics The ocelot's fur is extensively marked with solid black markings on a creamy, tawny, yellowish, reddish grey or grey background colour. The spots on the head and limbs are small, but markings on the back, cheeks and flanks are open or closed bands and stripes. A few dark stripes run straight from the back of the neck up to the tip of the tail. Its neck and undersides are white, the insides of the legs are marked with a few horizontal streaks. Its round ears are marked with a bright white spot. Each ocelot has a unique color pattern which can be used to identify specific individuals. Its fur is short, about 0.8 cm long on the belly, but with about 1 cm long long guard hairs on the back. It has 28 to 30 teeth. Its eyes are brown but reflect golden when illuminated. The body has a notably strong odor. The ocelot is a medium-sized cat with a head and body length of between 55 and 100 cm and a 30 to 45 cm long tail. It typically reaches 40 to 50 cm at the shoulder. The weight of females ranges between 7 and 12 kg and of males between 7 and 15.5 kg. Its footprint measures nearly 2 cm times 2 cm. The ocelot can be easily confounded with the margay and the wansilla, though the ocelot is noticeably larger and heavier with a shorter tail. Though all three have rosettes on their coats, the ocelot typically has a more blotched pattern, the wansilla has dark spots on its underbelly unlike the other two. Other differences lie in the facial markings, appearance of the tail and fur characteristics. The ocelot is similar in size to a bobcat, though larger individuals have occasionally been recorded. The jaguar is notably larger and heavier, and has rosettes instead of spots and stripes. Thanks for watching.